Hi everyone, welcome to the YouTube studio. There is a lot of information out there. If you have a smartphone and you're on older smartphones using the older app, you won't be able to use your Hero 10. If you have a GoPro Hero 7, it has the HDMI port. You want an HDMI port on the 8, 9, or 10, you're gonna need a media module. The 8 is considered a lightweight camera, a little smaller, even though I picked up the Hero 7 in hand. The 8 is a lighter camera, smaller camera. You want a little bit bigger bulk to hold on to the camera for logging. You get yourself a media module. If you want to get a Hero 9 with less frame rates and less troubles, then you'll get that particular camera and skip the Hero 10 and wait for the future Hero 11 if you think there are issues with the camera today. So what I am going to show you right now, I'm going to start up my camera. I'm going to put the battery in. It's going to ask me for an SDXC card. If I put the SDXC card in, it's going to start up the camera, add the date in there, and then it's going to stop and not allow me to use the camera. GoPro has locked the camera. It needs to have the very first firmware that's going to add a couple of things that is not noted on GoPro. What you're going to do is with your fingers, you're going to grab and pull down to the bottom of the camera. And the door is going to open up. You're going to lift away. You're not going to pull off the door. But since I am going to put the media module on, I am going to take my door off by lifting upward. I'm going to place to the side the door. The two doors, the Hero 8 and the Hero 9, are different. One is wider, and it's that simple. You take your SDXC card out. I am using a green and white Samsung Evo Select Plus 120 gig card. I hope you can see that, and it's clear for you. With the label facing towards the back of the card, the camera, I keep my camera up. I try not to get between the slot, I place it in gently. I let go. I gently tap it in. It's got a little spring. I'm good to go to insert it. I make sure I'm not on the back of the camera. I'm more towards the front and I lock it into place. You can use a spudger, but if you miss, that card's going to fly out. So watch the front screen when I insert the battery. One of the questions was to me, is the battery loose when it's inside the camera? Yes, it's a little loose, but it will be a little stiff over here, as you can see. But when I put it in right here, it's got a lot of freedom. It's free. Watch the front screen. You're going to see the screen light up and flicker, which you just have. The flicker of the LED is normal. The lighting on the screen is not. Now we're going to be updating. It's very simple. I'm going to update the camera. I should let it sit down and let it do its job. You saw the gear. You see the uh, GoPro, and it's updating. So what I am going to do is install my media module. What I want to do is take off my foam. It's a nice, solid fit. And it comes off very easy. There are four slots. You line this up, the notch to the back. Listen for the locks if you hear them. Same way you're taking the door off, you free it. The camera is still updating. It's doing its job. It's turning on and off. It's going to do that for a couple of times. So I slide my card in, my camera. I lock it into place. I make sure I don't hit the on and off, I lock it up. There's the update still happening. On here you got your 3.5 millimeter port, the HDMI port, and USB type C port. They are water resistant, they're not waterproof. The media module is water resistant and not waterproof. The camera now is no longer waterproof. 
they could have given a different way of opening this up. Some people may not like it. Make sure you close this properly. The update is complete. You don't have to format the card. Uh, you may not have to turn it off, but the camera will now start up. How much power did this use from 100%? The camera is in the on state, it's shut off as you can see. There it goes. It says GoPro. It's gonna ask you for the date, language and so forth. You want English for me, agree to the terms, GPS, the GoPro app I don't want. I'm not ready for it, so let's skip that setup. And today's date, I'm not 100% sure what date it is. It's the 24th, I believe. I can always correct this uh, later. 21, I may be off. I'll correct this later. And the time, I'm not sure. The time is 2.18. And I am going to go back and correct my date to the 25th. And it's PM media module connected. Can you see that media module connected? Very first time it noticed it and that prompt may never come back again. So once you click that, it goes away. You're defaulted at 4K at 30 frames per second. So let's make sure we have our date and time in there by going to preference, scrolling down to the uh, date and time that may be in the uh, actual general. There's the date. I'm off by one. I'll correct it. You see a little hesitant. Video compression, the date, the time, and the format chosen. Back out of it, hit the side button. And it used 2% power. Now, I want to shut it off by simply doing so. I don't want to fool around with it anymore. I'm good to go, all set up. Now, I have a Rode Wireless Go. It can fit on the top or the side, and it fits very snug to the product. Very tight, and I love it. Awesome. Even though this is the transmitter and not the receiver. If I wanted to use the Pro Mic, I can plug it in and then I put it on the bottom with the uh, tripod here and I use a rubber band and I attach it that particular way. So the camera, very simple, very enjoyable. Uh, it gives it a little bit uh, more bulk. Remember to pull, peel, peel these phones off and off you go. It's got a nice size screen, definitely bigger than the original. Definitely bigger. A lot of more glass and all. I want to get myself some tempered glass, put it on the back, and I may want to put it on the front because I know this is going to be a little bit more money and put it on the front screen. That would be my next step. So, ladies and gentlemen, I did an excellent uh, opening of the uh, GoPro. Uh, are there any complaints of it? Right now, yes, people are complaining of overheating. Some of the interface may not be 100%. Everybody's got their own little issues. If you're going out there and you're doing videos under 10 minutes a clip, not a problem. You want to get something that is going to give you unlimited time, not a problem. And something even better not a problem. You choose the camera you want. Since you got the front screen and that's the next step and double the frame rates, that's the way I'm going. So I hope you enjoyed this video once again of me uh, showing you the GoPro. Your Lansy doors they make, you want to make sure you don't lose the door. Make sure you mark it down that you know this is the correct door for that camera and get yourself a card slot reader. On that note, have a great day, everybody, and enjoy.